Here's how to measure land area in Google Maps. Now, if you need to know the land area, say for a specific property, maybe your house, a certain area, anything like that, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, unfortunately on your mobile phone, iPhone, Android, you can't use the Google Maps app. You can measure distances in here just by tapping on a point, tapping measure distance, and then you can measure a distance like that but you cannot close it to measure the area within certain points. To do that, you have to use Google Earth. So you can head into the App Store or Google Play Store and let's just search for Google Earth and you're gonna to wanna to download and install it. Now that you've done that, you can measure the land area for anything. So let's open up Google Earth here and I am just gonna zoom into a random spot. So let's say I'm gonna find an area like this. Say I wanted to measure the area that is cut out here. Say this is my house or someone else's house. What I'm gonna do is tap and hold on a certain area to drop a pin and I'm gonna tap measure. Now I am going to take the cursor and bring it over to another area, hit add point, I am just gonna, let's say I'm gonna do a quick and dirty version of this. I'm not gonna be exact here. So add another point, add another point, and then let's go all the way back to the beginning. And you can see now it gives you the ability to close the shape. So I can tap close shape here and it immediately shows me the perimeter and the area. I can tap the drop down menu right here. You can see it's in square meters here. If I wanted to switch it to acres, that is 9.66 acres. So you can measure the area of any place. And then of course you can hit save to project if you wanted to save the area for that specific place to your project so that you can go back to it. But again, you can do this on anything, any place, no matter if it's a house, a building, a state, whatever it may be, you can measure the perimeter and the area. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.